Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mega Modded Dead God Plus series. We're jumping in for another run and hopefully rebuilding the streak. This is, this is the time. This is the time we get a 10 streak. This is the time. We've done a lot of tinted Maggie and not so much normal Maggie. Let's take a normal Maggie run instead. Although I do love tinted Maggie, we need to get some completion marks going. And... Oh boy! That is a good start if we get the keys, which if we don't, if we don't get a single key this floor, I might actually scream. Um, and I promise you, I actually promise you I will scream. There's no one in the house right now. I promise you I'll scream. Um, <laughs> it's going to be terrible. I really hope we get a key. I don't want to commit to that. <laughs> oh, why did I say that? But yeah, not often that you see a planetarium and a library on the first room. That is a pretty stonking good first room. Library not so useful for us to be fair, but planetarium could give us some good shizzle Still no key. We got the d-pad. That's kind of nice. Um, hopefully get a room reward from this bad boy Oh, we did but okay This isn't looking so hot. Ooh, the d-pad um the d-pad. What's it called? Uh, oh, I didn't expect a secret room. Oh, we've got two full health pills as well Hmm Oh, I, I, I have a feeling it's going to happen, isn't it? Game, don't you dare. Okay, we got a key. I don't have to scream. I don't have to scream, people. It's all good. I don't have to scream. Whew, that was a close one. Sadly, no, um... Ooh, one minute. I'm trying to get my damage up. There you go. Pretty decent damage up. That's going to be super useful early on. D-pad's honestly so good early game. Another key. Damn, only one key. But like I said, the library's not super useful for us anyways. So if we can't get into the library, don't worry. I can't believe we've got double full health. Uh, I will check for another key, though, just in case. Um, do you know what? I'm going to buy it and, and do it anyways. Let's, let's, let's do it to it. Right, let's go. This is a good first room here. It's a planetarium. What do you offer to me? Luna. That is a really, really good one. I love Luna. I love Luna. And what do we get in our library? Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Luna plus Book of uh, Secrets is an interesting one. Hi I never knew it highlighted tinted and crawlspace rocks. Okay. I actually think that... Because Luna doesn't reveal the secret rooms, does it? I don't believe. I don't remember, but I don't think it does. So this is, this is really good. This is really good. Okay. Definitely to speed up. I'm feeling the... Uh, I'm feeling the speed not being so good for us right now. Ooh, this is rough. Do I want to... Damn it, I, I literally can't get that. That's a real shame. That's the fire up right there. I literally can't get it. Right, so we, we want to be, we wanna be um, trying to get as many bombs as we possibly can here. Uh, so I don't want to... I would normally use one on this boss, but honestly, I don't actually think I'll need to as long as I proc my D-pad correctly. There you go. Because we get such a huge damage up from that. This is kind of a hard room layout, you know. If he does the bouncy bouncy, it's going to be kind of tricky. Yeah, this this attack is the one I'm talking about. Okay, we just got to make sure we get that damage up. It's kind of weird because I spent so much time watching it and like stopping shooting him to make sure I get the damage up. that I think I might as well just continue shooting anyways and get the damage from doing that. Something you've got to kind of focus on, but there you go. There's the speed up as well. What a brilliant first floor. Wow. What a great first floor. But yes, having Book of uh, Secrets here plus Luna could be pretty incredible. We do get one of the secret rooms revealed to us already. So we'll go straight for that. But this could end up being a heavy secret room item um, run. Or secret room run in general. Can we, can we not get that again? Okay, no, we can get that one. That gives us half a soul heart and a huge fire rate upgrade. For the first one gives you a huge fire rate upgrade. The second one uh, is like a half half of that. Um, hopefully we can get our item room here. But it's going to be a good DPS up for the for the most part, for most flaws. Um, and just be good in general. Okay, let's hold off for a second. 
But yeah, now we've got two different forms of temporary stat upgrades. But anyways, question of the day. I kind of forgot to ask it. I had one in mind already. But the question of the day today, what is your nails on a chalkboard thing? What is something, it, it can be a sound, it can be an action people do. What for you is your nails on a chalkboard? Something that you just, you just can't stand to hear. Um, it'd be really, really interesting to hear um, what what people's one of that is, because uh, there's quite a lot of them. Mine, in terms of Grant's the uh, Grant's the effect of a random item, random item changes each time you take damage. Okay, decent. Um, oh, my God, mystery sack that time. It actually gives you the item as well. It doesn't just grant an effect. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, but, yeah, mine, in terms of, like, actual sound, is, um, is, do you know... I don't, I don't know the best way to describe it. Do you know, like, metal fences, the ones that are, like, sort of, like... I, how the hell do you describe it? The kind of, like, rippled. So they're kind of, like... I, I really don't know how to describe this best. It's like, it's like kind of, they're kind of, like, a wavy design. They're in, they're in pillars that have spikes at the top. They're, like, kind of split into spikes at the top. And they're usually all, like, attached together, lined up. It's a really bad way of describing a fence. I might, I might go and get a picture if I can. Because um, I'm not doing a good job of describing it. But those, for some reason, even just touching those, and even seeing people touch it, even without the sound. Because they're a bit... If you scratch them, it really gets me. But, like... Or, like, you, you know, like, make noise them, it really gets me. But even just seeing people touch them makes me... Oh, God. It, 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 thinking about it, it's just... Oh, horrible. Horrible, horrible, horrible. I find that so, like, those so interesting, because people have such, like, varied answers for that. Salsa, I, mean, I was I was going to say no to the devil deal, but because we just got Salsa, I'm actually more up for it. And I will definitely take Aya Belial here, thank you. Um, unfortunately, this time we didn't really get too, too much secret room action. I'll take this pill. X likes. Yeah, we didn't really get too much secret room action here, um, because unfortunately... Our book did not reveal the secret rooms to us. It's not always going to. It's it's only on the second use that it's a guaranteed to uh, show us. So we're not always going to see everything. But, oh well. Hopefully we could just get a way of getting more bombs. Maybe the mystery sack will give us some good stuff here. But yeah, that's that's one that just, oh, it gets me. It gets me. Ooh. Oh, Lord. And then another another one for me as well, which is more of a generalization, and I think this is this is one that probably a lot of people feel pretty hard, is um Oh god, oh god, oh god. Seeing people that like just let their kids be shitheads, that oh that that gets to me. Like that that makes me feel something and it and it, and it ain't good. Uh oh there's some double bombs. I, I knew we'd get some bombs from you eventually. There's some more double bombs. Um Better way to do this? Probably not. Hey, oh. Okay, there's our fire rate. It's a huge fire rate increase. So nice. Yeah, um, seeing people like, like, do you know when you see like a parent that just like lets their kid be an absolute shithead and like they don't even act like there's anything wrong with it. And there's like, you tell them to, you, you tell the parents to make them stop and they're just like, come on, come on, Grayson, stop bothering that lady. And it's like, mate, what, just get your shithead kid out of here. <laughs> God, God's sake. Especially when there's, like, no excuse for it either. Like, sometimes it can be excused. Sometimes it's like the parent is genuinely, like, distracted and doesn't realize it's happening. Uh, but a lot of the time it's, like, it's just an inattentive parent that doesn't give a shit. Oh, we got Black Hand on this this time. Okay. Um, lots of cards for us here. We got that. We got Lust. Um... This is good, but we don't want to use it yet. The full health pill doesn't really matter. I think I'm just going to go use this in the next room. I'll come back for that. Just because we get the, the maws. They they do some stuff for us regardless, so... I'll take them. Make sure I don't use the Joker to the end of the floor, because it traps you. You can't get out. Good to go. Yeah, that is that is something that, that just... Because it's, it's not even like it's a pet peeve for me. It like It makes me physically, like, want to... Want to go back into my shell? It makes me want to kind of just like, oh god, it make it like it. It makes me feel wrong. It's not even just like I gotta say. Like I think for a lot of people, it's just something that like is annoying. But for me, when I see that happen, I'm just like, oh god. It it, it gets me. It makes me like it like, makes my shot and my spine shudder. I'm like, oh god, no, no, no. no. 
What are you doing? It's just like, I don't know. I think it's like, I think it's like the secondhand cringe or something from like, I don't, I don't even know exactly what to call it. From like, just knowing how little of a shit they give it. It's like, how do you give this little of a shit? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Well, there's our key problem solved. Also, we basically get two soul hearts every... Uh, yeah, two soul hearts every floor. Ooh, ooh, interesting idea here. We can re-roll... Uh, we can uh, try open this chest, but at the same time, we can re-roll our um, item until we get something good because we have a full health pill. There it is. There it is. Okay, okay. I don't know if you realize what we just got there, but we just got blue map. <laughs> I know that obviously it'll get re-rolled if we get hit, but that's pretty good. I actually, like, I normally love chaos. I have to say, I think chaos is a really fun item, but I'm actually not going to take it on this run because, and honestly, blank card would be great too with this card, but actually, hmm. Hmm. Blank card with this could be pretty incredible. But this book's so good though. I'm gonna take the blank card. It's just it's more interesting. But especially while I have blue map as well, which I know we won't have for long, but Yeah, um Chaos, because we we have such a high chance of being able to get um of being able to get secret room items this run. I really think there's there's like Please don't take damage here already. Uh, yeah, because we have such a high chance of getting secret. By the way, this room. This is AIDS. So people need to stop doing this sort of thing. This is silly. <laughs> this is just a waste of my time. <sighs> Come on. Yeah, rooms like that are just stupid. <laughs> don't make rooms like that, please. They only serve to waste my time. Um, but yeah, uh, what was I going to say? I can't even remember now. Oh, well, yeah, um, I think blank cards just could be a little more interesting. Like, we should still be able to find the secret rooms regardless, even if we don't have blue map. But it's interesting to know that I can farm. Like, self-damage allows me to reroll that item, so I can farm for a, a good item from that. Because, like... I mean, imagine, like, the holy grail of items to get with that would be, uh, holy mantle. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I imagine getting holy mantle with that would be insane. Because then, like, you've got such a low chance of lose- of then losing holy mantle. Okay. Spawns a confessional. Spawns two batteries. One charge? Wait, what? Is that is that serious? Dude, I can't believe he just hit me there. You're a shit. You're a shit. Gimme, gimme. Thank you, thank you. And this, this this can't be serious. It's a one room charge. Are you kidding me? That's silly. <laughs> that is actually silly. Um, one health up, maximum hearts raised to eighteen. Yes, we'll take that. I mean, it's literally free. More options is always good here as well. I'm looking for blue map. I'll be honest, I'm looking for blue map. More trinket space is kind of good. That's... We, we had, we've had other mapping options, but I really want blue map here. Humble bundle is good too here. Nine volt is also good, but like, we don't need it right now. Um, let's roll deep. I wonder if we can even get blue map because we've actually, we physically had it already. So I don't even know if it's plausible for us to get it. Um, yeah, I'll take that and yeah, I'll take that. Well, this is going to be interesting. 
This is nutty. Nuttily buttily. Like, obviously we don't want to use it until the end of the floor, so it being a one-room charge is not necessary. Also, the amount of locusts we just got from that scatter bomb. I didn't think the scatter the, the like baby scatter bombs would work there, but they do. For secret room wise, I really think we just want to be bombing pretty much everything because we're we're gonna get locusts regardless, and as long as we have the bombs to use, honestly, the amount of locusts we have right now is actually kind of lagging my game. So maybe let them kill some things because uh, there is a hell of a lot of them right now. See, now the problem is if I want to try and bomb to look for another secret room, I have to use those bombs and. Grant myself another ton of locusts, which is laggy. <laughs> this is hilarious. If I get hit, I lose it, so I could just get hit. But at the same time, it's pretty strong. I'm not saying I want to lose it. This is tricky. I think I'm going to go for Little Heretic, because he's, cool. he's just cooler. He's just a cool chap. Keep going. Check this out. Nothing in there I want. Yeah, someone needs to uh, maybe fix the fact that um, this is a one-room charge. That's just infinitely silly. Thank you. Come down here, see what's what. The thing is as well, it's worth coming down here regardless, because like there's chests and stuff as you just saw. We got blanket here. Steam sale. I don't know, it seems does Steam sale do, do much for us? Black doll's really good. I don't think Steam sale does much for us, to be honest. Black candle's good. I might take Black Candle. I mean, I could just go back there, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll take Black Candle. Black Candle's really good. Let's go. I can't believe we're going to get to go to a black market every floor. That's, that's, that's nutty. I'm very glad I tried this out. I'm kind of, I kind of want to get hit, I'll be honest. I want to be able to get secret rooms without lagging the hell out of my game. <laughs> Don't really need too many more keys, but I'll take them when they become available. Okay, Let's just let our locusts do their thing for now. Oh, yeah, I gotta say, this is the room that I might get hit on anyways. What did we get instead? A uh, little battery, buddy. Okay, so our locusts will deplete now. This has already been just a crazy run. Tarot cloth, why not? Wheel of Fortune creates a trap door to a special arcade. Lies. <laughs> creates a trap door to a special arcade. Bullshit. Maybe you can't use it in a shop. Maybe if you had a red maybe if I had a Reddit further, it says not on members access. Maybe maybe that's why it didn't work. Maybe I've just been a goober. I need something to give me some sort of secret room mapping, because not being able to find all my secret rooms here is saddening me. I think we want Yeah, let's go with vas vasculitis. I like vasculitis. Or however you pronounce it. The amount of like boom flies we have right now. Like I can't even kill them. Look at Explosive flies we have. Oh my god. In the secret room. Ow. I got hit. I got BFF out of it though. Oh, not BFF. Um, hive mind. Just, just chill. Just chill. We don't need to, we don't need to worry about this room. It's going to be over in a second. But we are running out of flies. We're running out of flies. Why do I have so much money? I think Humbling Bundle's just going crazy. Humbling Bundle is just going mental. 
This has been a fun one already. It really has. <laughs> At first, talking about my nails on a chalkboard moments. Now I'm just basking in the in the brilliance that is this run. Poops everywhere. What the hell? No, thank you. You. Half a soul hat. The more health we can get, the better, because that's going to mean that every black market is a little more overpowered. If we can buy one or two items. Especially the ones that have those reroll machines that we can kind of get whatever we want. Door? Door Mimic got me there. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you there. You got me. Okay, secret room. Need to, I keep forgetting about the scatter bombs. I keep trying to walk into it. More luck upgrades are at 4 luck already. God damn. We need some more damage. Our damage isn't actually that good. Oh, hello. This could this could be our more damage. Like, our damage is... Our output is good, but our stat isn't great. Okay, that's, that's, that's decent damage output. Teleport here. Restock could be an interesting one. It's a risk, though. Do you know what? No. Uh, restock is a good one, but I honestly think that it's like three hearts for it. It's only going to restock the items in there, which we don't really have the health to get. I would like a way of getting some more red hearts, though, because we do have the ability to go up to 18 hearts now. So, Some more health options would be good. It's good that it always gives you one free secret room on the map. Orphan Socks. That's a good speed upgrade. I believe that's immunity to spikes and stuff now as well, isn't it? Ow. The Keeper's Sack is our new item. Interesting. We also got an Ace of Wands here. Not quite sure how good the Ace of Wands is going to be for us. Okay, health is looking healthy. What does Ace of Wands do again? I can't remember. Let's find out. Nothing. It does nothing. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't do anything there. It's supposed to turn every enemy into something, right? Ow. Items being re-rolled again. Give me that. Okay. Re-roll this a little bit. Stopwatch. Always an instant pickup. Bible battery doesn't matter. Coupon doesn't matter. Car battery doesn't matter either, actually. I do love car battery, but it doesn't matter. I'll take that. Why not? And we did get Diplopia. Ooh, ooh, wait, no. Diplopia is great, but we don't have any way of actually using it in the room we want to use it in. Because how would we get to the black market and use Diplopia? Because we, we'd need backpack. We'd need two active slots to do that. Which we don't have a means of getting right now. So that's unfortunate, because that would have been a pretty... Interesting thing to be able to just duplicate everything in um, in a black market. I need to go back this way. Because that, that way there, down that path, is probably the boss. I don't think this is the boss. Probably could go and upgrade my familiars as well here. Charm of the Vampire. Yeah, I'll take Channel of the Vampire. I love the Resprite and Channel of the Vampire. It's so cute. I wonder if our shop is over this way or if it's close to the boss. Nope, the boss is this way. Okay, I was wrong about the... The, the, the shop is probably the other way. Oh, wait. I've already been in the shop. You, you damn idiot. Why do I do that so often? My brain. It simply do not work. Yeah, I do want to go back to here, though, and uh, try upgrading some of my buddies. Nice. Got these fellas upgraded. All nice and good. Right, so let, what is down the end of here then? Planetarium 2 Electric Boogaloo? Nothing at all. I mean, there is actually a Tinted Rock. That's not, that's not bad. Oh, we got Holy Light this time. With good luck as well. Secret Room! Yeah! It was worth coming down here. Real Joker card. No, thank you. 
We have fake Joker card. Yeah, these are the situations in which you can be like, mods definitely make the game easier. Another library, okay. This will be Bookworm. So even if it contains only one book, we've already picked up two. And it did contain only one book. But there's Bookworm. Decent enough. Do we have Mum's Key? I swear the chests are just paying out like crazy right now. Good, good. And we zoom, zoom, zoom back to the boss. And then straight after that to our black market. We've got a good amount of HP to trade away right now as well. Yeah, I do think having Holy Light here, at least for the short time we end up getting to keep it, is going to be very powerful. Um, we can go to anywhere we want here, so let's take that. Take a little look what we got going on here. I don't think either of these are really worth, worth that much to us. That's Joker. Electric Dice. There's Blue Map. We got it. We do unfortunately have to take damage to get it. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Wait. You troll. You troll game. No. How could you? You better pay out with a red heart. Otherwise, I will smack someone. You, thank thank goodness, because that would have been super frustrating. <laughs> uh, if, if you're wondering what the hell just happened there, basically because the item was reflected, it spawned two of them at the same cost. Normally it would ha like split the cost, but it couldn't because it was only one red heart. But because I used the burn heart that was making it red heart cost to get the reflected item, thus breaking the burn heart, I no longer had a red heart to actually be able to purchase it anyways. That was, that was frustrating. But yeah, we finally got Blue Map. Can't believe it took us this long to get it. This is good stuff, though, because being able to find other secret rooms gives us a lot of HP to work with, um, which is really, really good. Uh, but also, more chance for those sweet, sweet secret room items. And the fire rate, too. The fire rate's very important. So we will be trying to make our way to basically every secret room we can here, especially the regular. The, the second secret rooms are good, but not as important as regular secret rooms. Second secret rooms tend to contain more health, which we we do kind of need, but we don't really need now. Angry flies. Thank you for my fire rate. Okay, then both of the second secret rooms are up this way, which means the boss is definitely over this way. Luna does kind of throw off that formula a little bit, though, being able to find out where the boss is via the second secret room location. Like, sometimes it does what it does when it's done here and just puts them both in sort of the same place, but other times it kind of splits them up so you don't know which one is closest to the boss. Okay. Taken care of. Oh my god, the bloody mini rock, the mini ones scare the hell out of me every time. Oh my lord. Um, spawn a sack upon entering any um, secret room. Seems like a pretty good idea for a trinket for a run so heavily influenced by secret rooms. Whoa. You are spinning rapidly. I think uh, Broken Murdom plus uh, the stopwatch kind of messed up what you were doing there. Kind of funny. Yeah, you can still see our damage. Damage is still leaving a bit to be desired. A bit to be desired, to be honest. Queen of hearts. She's a queen of hearts. Oh, this boss. I have a, I have a dying, dying hatred against this stupid boss. Killed my tainted lost run. Because he's just a terribly designed piece of ass, Especially in Boss Rush when the floor is literally grey and his foot stomps just blend in. That, yeah, that was just silly. That, that annoyed me so much. Um, I think I'm good for both of those. Thank you. Magic skin. 
<sighs> Magic skin's an interesting one, but it's not really what we need, is it? I love that. It can give 0 0.03 speed or a 0 0.5 damage up. Yeah, we don't want any of those, unfortunately. The disparity between those two is insane. <laughs> Every three coins you, per you, you spend, you can get an insane damage up or a negligible speed up. Yeah, at least we've always got good fire rate. That, that's that's the positive. What? Okay. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. This is... This one's a little bit of a shame, really. Because we... We may have seen Backpack at some point and I just didn't pick it up. I'm not sure if that's the case, but I heavily regret it if that is the case. Obviously, we're still going to take our key regardless. But I'd have loved to have kept our blank card shenanigans going on here. They have been very powerful and very fun. Removes your oldest uh, passive item. Okay, let's, let's use that here. That used it twice. What else did it remove? What else did it remove? I, I can't take the um, the curse crown. I'll leave that there for now. I'll come back for you. One second. Right, let's continue onwards here. I don't remember what we're doing. Oh yeah, we're taking the crack key over and trying to use it. But yeah, getting a random R key out of nowhere, that's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I am very much looking forward to that. It's been a while since we had an arc here. So, yeah, it's like I have this run and I'm like, ooh, we can get some secret room items today and then we end up getting an arc here, like out of not even a secret room. That's kind of wild, boy. That's kind of wild. Okay, dude, 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 dude. Stop trying to pick up the buckets right now. God damn, we have full health now as well. Literally, more than full health. We have extra health. I'm just going to open this up because I, 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 want a, I want a shortcut way. Oh, you stupid. I keep doing that. We got Trisag for our random item. Is Trisag a good item for us, really? I don't even know. Oh, it's gone. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Whether it's a good item or not, it's gone now. Okay. Now we need to crack key this. Lovely. Let's see what our red item is. Contagion? Contagion's decent enough. Decent enough, I guess. It's not like the best, but it's free. It is free. Oh my god. Walked right into that one, quite literally. Right, let's go back and make sure we get our um, black market card. Unfortunately, not going to be able to use it much further. Actually, do we even need it anymore? Because we, No, we do, we do. We can use it one last time on this floor. Don't use it before we um, grab the R key. That would be most terrible. That would be most terrible. In fact, grab the R key now so that you don't forget. Because I will forget. Okay, cool. R key... We'll try and do like hush and stuff with the arcade, uh, arcade run. Are you okay, my dude? There you go. So make sure to press Q, not space this time at the end of the floor. Because with having having had a uh, blank card for so long, I can see myself pressing space bar instead and buggering everything up. Still, our damage is, like, good, but, like, still, we're, we're lacking a little bit considering the run. Considering what we've got going on this run and the stuff that we've gotten. we got a lot of utility, but not much damage. Right. Wait, no, that'll send us down, though. So we can't, we can't use it on this floor. Let's go do Hush now. Because 
Do I do hush now? Fire mind, always interesting. Eden's blessing. Mum's key. No fellas to level up. That was terrible. Okay. Checking for the crawl space. See if we can get it. I don't use too many bombs here, but I do want to give it a good check. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Right, let's go. See how this goes. Fire mind might end up being pretty good. Ooh, yeah, this damage is low. Oh no, this damage is bad. <laughs> I think the piercing is making this so the explosives never explode on him, which kind of hindering our damage quite a lot. Well, what the hell was that? What kind of attack was that, sir? Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a rough one, I think. When he starts spawning, something might not be so bad, because we're going to be dropping bombs and everything. Get on top of that. I think, um... Broken Murdom plus Stopwatch should do a lot for us here. Also, our character's looking pretty fresh. Look at the little rapture's got around her head and everything. Maybe use bombs for this? I don't know how potent... The scatter bombs are going to end up being. But we'll never find out about that one. Okay, no, the, the scatter bombs are really good. Oh, dude. It annoys me so much when bombs do that. To stop firing, walk back, and then shoot it. You can't just shoot it straight away. It's just annoying. I think scatter bombs are actually going to be the way that we kill this guy in a decent amount of time. The amount of damage our tears are doing to this guy is just nothing, really. Spawn some enemies for me. Dude, stop going underground, you coward. Absolute coward. Do you know what would be a really cool mod? Just a mod that removes most of the immune phases from bosses. Just, like, replaces them within a different attack or something. Because, honestly, immunity phases are just one of the worst things in gaming. I Like, I, there is a place for them in some regards. But most people agree that they're terrible. Most people do not like them. Go up. We still can't use our Joker on this floor because it'll take us down. I don't even know if the Joker will work on this next floor, but I'll try it. No, because it'll still take us down, won't it? Oh, we've got card reading this time around. Interesting. I will smelt that for uh, one soul heart. Thank you, sir. Oh, we... Do you know... I was like, do you, know, do you know when I used my um, stars card? I didn't even realize I lost Luna. That was pretty upsetting. I mean, I got some decent items out of it, but was it worth Luna, really? I don't think it was. I don't think it was worth the loss of Luna. Especially considering the fire rate and health we were getting out of it. Because yeah, I was just looking at my map then, and I was like, where's my secret rooms at? Yeah, I realized that because it... It double... I don't even know why it double used the card. Was it because of... Uh, oh, it's because of Tarot Cloth. Tarot Cloth caused me to double use the card. I didn't even think about that before using it. A goober move on my behalf. It's okay, though. We're getting on. We're getting on. Another Arky, maybe? No, but we did get a, a noose. I'm guessing those chests can just drop secret room items. That seems to be the, the case. I think it's up, actually, where the boss is. Nope, I was wrong. Okay. Need spectral or flight or something. Kind of annoying being, getting trapped behind everything at the moment. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I, I, I said that, and 
literally a second later just remembered I just picked up Transcendence. I literally have flight now. It's because I don't have any wings or anything, so it kind of threw me off a bit. Oh, I'm so annoyed I lost Luna. That's really sad. Luna is like the cornerstone of our run. Need to stop doing that. Isaac, where are you? Here we are. Again, I, I think the best course of action here is um, use bombs. Dude, that, that bomb went nowhere near where it should have done. Because with bombs, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect time to freeze him. Thank you, game. Where's he at? Come on, come on, come on. He's, he's weakened, he's weakened. We can get him, we can get him, we can get him. Yes. There you go. Okay, Isaac done. Go for Blue Baby. Then we'll go for round two and probably go Dark Path. Compound Fracture. An item I love, but not a good item for this run. Because while it is good, it should probably end up causing quite a bit of lag. I don't know, that's not too bad, actually. Not too bad. Lots of nice explosions. Love to see it. Yeah. Haunty boy. You gots to go. Set up plenty of fires on the wall here. Yeah, that's actually not too bad at all. Oh, I'm so sad about Luna. Makes me very upset. Didn't even realise. How did that bomb end up going over there? And one of them hit me! What is going on right now? This is so confusing. <laughs> Everything's so confusing. The D4, no thank you. Ooh, magic mush here could be good. Big sad, no magic mush. Oh, now that's a crazy eternal room. I did ask the developer if they could fix this, where it spawns like a bunch of them in one room. Uh, like when, when one eternal spawns, if there's multiple bosses, every single one of them is just eternal. I asked the developer if they could fix it and they, they said no, unfortunately, which is a big sad. Cause that is probably one of my least favorite things about the mod. In fact, it's probably the the biggest annoyance is just like, oh, you're in a room with 10 bosses and one single one of them decides to be eternal. Nah, screw you, now they're all eternal. It's like, no, 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 no. It's not how that should work at all. It's a regain some of his health we've lost. God damn, the damage we're outputting right now is crazy. I don't know what, what we got that made it so insane, but I think it was just compound fracture, I'll be honest. Seems to be doing a right good job. Okay, this guy's eternal. Yeah, having piercing with fire mind is a little bit of a nuisance. I love Eternal Blue Baby. He's probably my favorite Eternal boss fight in the entire game. He's so much like harder without being bullshit. Like I feel like some of the other Eternal boss patterns are just kind of BS. They just kind of throw shots at you and they're really hard to dodge. But this guy, you actually can be skillful and dodge them. Like there is some of them, like actually quite a lot of them where you can be skillful and dodge them, but this one is the most fairly balanced and it feels like something kind of from Vanilla Isaac. A lot of them eh, feel a bit iffy. I don't like them, but they feel a bit iffy. Right, then we do this. And we are on to the, uh, on to the second run. Libra. Libra's kind of an interesting one. I'm, I'm not going to take it, but it's kind of an interesting one. Deep pockets, thank you all. Ooh, that's kind of a nice setup there with the mini, uh, the mini ghosties. Got a miser heart here. 
Hey, there's a soul heart. Thank you. Why is this normal secret room there? That's so such a weird placement for the normal secret room. Wait, what? That's like an impossible. What the hell? Why, why would it spawn there? That's so bizarre. So bizarre. Right. Joker card here. Sad, sad to see it go, but... Boom, boom. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to go Dark Path this time. I'll try and remember to pick up the right, uh, the negative. Oh, we got Star of Bethlehem at the minute. I don't don't know where we got that from, but thank you. I'm guessing that was from the item that changes when we get hit. Oh, now we've got Golden Bombs as well. Holy God. Adjustment. More bombs, nice. I used it twice as well, didn't it? Of course. Tara Cloth. Keep forgetting that Tara Cloth exists. The Wafer is probably better. I mean, it is definitely better, but I do love Tiny Planet quite a lot. So it's, it's very hard for me to walk past it and leave it be. Stitches? Actually, we don't have an active right now, so Stitches, stitches could be useful. I don't know how much I'll end up getting... I ended up actually using it, but we now have the option. Just bombs going off everywhere. It's crazy. Um, guess I'll buy that. Don't think I need anything else in that one. Right, let's do some re-rolling here. Sinus infection is top tier. Blah, 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 blah. Keep rolling, I think. Keep rolling. Eh. Unfortunately, not nothing amazing there. The uh, the machine broke a little too fast for its own good there. Well, a little too fast for us, I should say. I could have put so many more pennies in you. Oh, hello. That's a nice bit of health you got there. Oh, we have a chunky health bar now. I love seeing that with Maggie. I, I'm surprised no one's made a mod to just make that possible with every other character yet. Where is it possible to have three health bars? I think that's something that a lot of people would probably like. It's kind of crazy to think that on, like, uh, Flash Isaac, you had unlimited health space. Okay, down we go. Okay, this last run through should be a bit faster. I don't know how much faster it's going to be, actually, because we still, we still do seem to be taking our time, and I am still checking secret rooms and stuff. So shame those ghosts that follow you into other rooms. That'd be kind of nutty, though, I think. World. Around the world, around the world. I'll keep an Empress. Let's go check out the, uh, the Tainted Treasure Room here. Could be something cool. Teleport directly to home. Full health, spawns an item and a cracked key in Isaac's room alongside 20 random pickups. Kind of an interesting idea. I don't think it's something we're going to do now, but I, I like the idea of it. Oh, I never finished this room, apparently. Go kill whatever this mini boss is. Oh, wrong, wrong direction. Oh my god, I'm getting hit so much. It's kind of crazy. Alright, let's go check this out. Angry flies. I will take that. I very much like it. It's just you, my fella. It's just you. Good grab, good grab. And we speed, speed, speed along to our item room. But yeah, this has been a crazy room. Crazy room. I'm going to talk about something different while we while we finish out this run. Because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear me talk about Isaac for the next 30 minutes. So something that something that I kind of want to talk about a little bit is... Um, and kind of ask you guys about as well. Ooh, track beam's really nice here. Getting some familiars is good here. 
Boost, baby. Freeze it, baby. And Loki. Nice, perfect combination of things there. Getting um, Tractor Beam with Conjoined. But yeah, um, is there arcade machines? When was the last time people tried out an arcade machine or used an arcade machine? Does, any, does anyone regularly go to the arcade? That'd be interesting to know. How many of you are like avid arcade goers? Uh, nothing much we want from there. Because uh, I, I haven't been to one in like quite a long time, but... I have been to some like something adjacent. Um, there's a there's a bar. Uh, there's actually a few of them um, near me called NQ64, which is um, basically a bar that's just full of arcade machines. Like you buy your cocktails and your drinks. Um, it, is, it is an alcoholic bar, um, but yeah, you buy like your cocktails and your drinks and whatever. But also you can buy tokens, um, and each of the machines cost tokens. It is a little overpriced, I'll admit. It's not exactly the like cheap, but you, I don't go there very often, so it's it's always fun to go there. And like, it's got like all the all the classics. It's got like a Crazy Taxi. It's got a lot of the uh, Mario ones. It's got like the Simpsons arcade game. It's got Mario Kart. Um, it's, it's also got some um, some GameCube, some classic consoles set up with games. They, they're free to play. Obviously, though, they're, they're always in use, so you can't have to wait your turn to play them. But they have, like, a, just a suite of different games you can play on them. So you can play, like, Simpsons Hit and Run on the um, the GameCube. You can play, like, um, Melee and stuff like that. There's, there's some, it's, it's just... It's really cool. I've been there a few times. Um, and all of their, like, cocktails are, like, arcade themed and stuff. And it's just, like, oh, arcades were the best. I remember... Um, I remember when I like when I used to live at home when I was younger, the takeaway next to my house is a takeaway we used to go to all the time. Um, and I, I still I still go there when I visit my parents every now and again because it's, it's really nearby and it's really nice. And obviously now we, we know the people in there fairly well. Um, yeah, uh, it used to. It used to have arcade machines in there. It was only a small place. I was surprised that it had arcade machines. But yeah, it did... It did used to have arcade machines in there, and I think the, I think they had Street Fighter for a short time, and they also had, um, is it Metal Slug it was called, or Solid Slug or something like that? I can't, I can't remember the exact name of it now. I always used to get it confused with Metal Gear Solid, um, but that that game was awesome. Like the side, like side scrolling, they have a big old gun, you know, like blow up tanks and stuff. It was, it was pretty crazy actually. It was a really really good game. Um, and yeah, I remember like a lot of the time I'd kind of go in specifically just to play that. <laughs> I'd, I'd order like, because I can't remember if you had to order something, but I always remember ordering something while I was there. And I'd order like the cheapest thing on the menu and then just like sit in there and play the arcade machine because that was that was free to go on as well. Um, just an absolute blast. So fun. I know as well, like, I kind of wish I had the money for it and the money to be dumb enough to buy it. And I, I suppose for people that do have the money, it's not really dumb if you want it. But um, I know that Enter the Gungeon came out with the arcade cabinet. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't exactly remember what they called it. But yeah, they have a they have their own arcade cabinet. You can't get the game anywhere else. It can only be played through the arcade cabinet. And I think it's mainly like a collector's item but also like for some arcades to actually buy and stock um because i don't think they made a lot of them but that would be so cool to have like what a, what a what a cool item just like have in your living room or something oh that'd be awesome i'd love that okay we got chaos card plus bloody card which is kind of an interesting combo because now when we get hit we have a chance to throw a chaos card probably some other cards that are better for this but Let's look at what I've got right now. Check this out. But yeah, like even when I was younger, it was never really a big thing. I don't know if it's bigger in America or if it's just made out to be that way on TV um, and on films and stuff. But like, I didn't really go to the arcade that much. As in, like, I didn't really like ever get my parents to take me to an arcade, or there wasn't one near me that I'd go to. I know that like. It, it, in like the even like um, when I was a lot younger in like the early 2000s, but I think I don't know. I suppose early 2000s was kind of when they were getting phased out. Um, like I don't know when, when, when was it that arcades kind of died off? I know that obviously now you get like retro places that have arcades and stuff, 
um, and like the, like this place that I that I was talking about. You have places like that, but like you don't get any like proper proper arcades really anymore. But like when was it they kind of died out? Because I never remember going to one, and I don't know if that's just I was a bit too late to the game. Because obviously when I was sort of the the, the appropriate age, it was the, it was the early two thousands. So maybe they just went around as much, or or is it just one of those things where it's kind of like more of a classic American thing, or is it another one of those things where it's just like a movie trope that doesn't really actually happen, that many people didn't really actually go to the arcades, and it's just kind of one of those movie things, I really don't know, it would be interesting to find out, especially I know that some of you um, American viewers uh, out there, I know that some of you are older than I am, uh, I know there's not tons of you, but I know there's a few of you that are older than I am, so if anyone could give a bit of insight into that, that'd be interesting to... Uh, Interesting to find out. Yeah, not really something I experienced. By the way, I really love, I really love this item that when we get hit, it gives us a random item. Ooh, Hemolacria, this could be laggy. Um, yeah, um, it's always just interesting to find that sort of stuff out. Ooh, I'll take that, because that's another random item. A random item each room and a random item each time I get, I get hit. Oh, Lord. I'm just going to go straight for the boss here. I'm going to beeline it. I did have an Emperor card at some point. I don't know where that went. I think it went bye-bye. Ooh, pop. Throw a pop on top of that. Why are we getting pop in the shop? Pop in the shop? Have we exhausted the shop pool already? That's kind of crazy. Considering we haven't... We have seen a lot of shop items, I suppose, because of, of all the black markets. Maybe we have, then. That's kind of crazy. The pop definitely isn't something that should be in the shop. I was like, why is this mum not dying very fast? But it's, it's eternal mum, and that's why. Okay, we're good. Take the negative, make sure we do that. I'm still not taking perfection. I want more than clear. I like having the randomised uh, items when I get hit and pair room. That's just funny to me. Right, we'll take the, the fastest way. This, this Now we're just on beeline straight to the... Um, beeline straight to the boss. We've got chili pepper this time. We have the little void item as well. Little portal from somewhere. I don't know where we got little portal from. Do we have a little portal? No. We, I swear I saw a little portal there. Oh, we must have had him for the previous room on our... Uh, Molding, molding clear. Trinket. That makes a lot more sense. I didn't think about that. <laughs> I just love this. Especially with Contagion. Sometimes we're just firing, it just kills the whole room. I love the sound of pop as well. It's so funny. Right, taken care of. And it's the bloaty bloat. Oh my lord. I'm surprised we haven't been taking more self damage, you know. We, I, I, I feel like we haven't taken any or like, it's been very rare. Well, this is a, a run that is just rife for it. I got mom's knife in this room. Okay. Do we want to go Delirium? Because we, we, we can't Chaos card Delirium, so that's out the window. Okay, nice. So, oh, uh, actually, do you know what? Thinking about it, I think we have, I think we have been hurting ourselves, but because I've got that, um... That blue blood item, the hollow knight item, I've not been taking damage because I get three free hits a floor. So I've just not actually been taking damage from it. So I have been getting hit by my own fire mind. I've just not been losing health from it. Which is probably like our saving grace right now, I'll be honest. Back down here, my dude. I keep forgetting we have sinus infection as well. I'm like, why are they all getting stuck to him? But then I'm like, oh yeah, sinus infection exists. Ooh. And down we go this time. Down, down, down. Um, probably should have tried to go angel deal, but I don't know. No, I think I, I think it doesn't matter. Um, 
regardless once you've with an R key run if you've already taken the devil deal you can't get back to the angel deals unless you get the uh, redemption thing from the sacrifice room so we wouldn't be able to do that anyways little annoying we didn't get an item that let us go through the oh actually no we might have done because we got the get out of jail free card is that the one that lets you um that lets you open any doors oh wait actually 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 hmm i just test something i gotta test something i might have a way of opening the mega certain door i'm not sure I was way too early on that. Holy hell. There's a lot going on here. I'm just getting bombs down just to spawn all these ghosts. The actual bomb damage is kind of negligible at this point. But the ghost is doing a good job. Dude, stop pushing me. Stop pushing him around. That's just scary. Coming down doesn't work for this guy when he's got when he's eternal. That's sad. Okay. Made our way through him. I right, get to the next floor. I've got to try something as soon as I get to the next floor. I think this will work, but I'm not actually sure. First of all, let's check out what items we've got. Brimstone. Yeah, we'll take brimstone. That could be pretty wild. It did work. It opened up the mega certain door. Okay, nice. So let's first go and do our boss. This should be pretty wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought so. Oh, God. Um, that created um, kind of an infinite loop there. Oh, my Lord. May have been a mistake taking Brimstone, I'll be honest. May have been a slight mistake because our frame rate has uh, has died. I think pop is the thing that's ruining the frame rate. I'll be honest. Like, if I take pop out of the equation, let's see how this goes in the next room. But I think pop is what's causing the issues. Okay, it is. It is. Getting rid of pop actually fixes quite a lot. Let's uh, let's 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 stay without pop because pop is um causing some some issues here. Tech two. Interesting. Oh, I love he Hemolacria Brimstone is such a fun synergy. Oh my god. Little dumpy. To save us. Okay. Boss time. Where are you, Lammy boy? I'm getting so many chests. That isn't Guppy. I thought that'd be Guppy for some reason. I've only got nine lives, I think. Oh my god. Okay, Lamb, how are you going to deal with this? Actually, pretty well. Despite the alarming amount of bugger tears attached to your body and the amount of brimstone beams covering the room, you're withstanding. But, there he goes. Yeah, we got him, we got him. Right. No void portal? No void portal? No void portal. Okay. Back we go. A little bit of a long trip back here, but... I'm so glad that we got, um... So now I'm kind of glad that we got rid of Luna for the, um... For the multiple items, because with that, we got the item that lets you open doors when you get hit on sh and reveal the map, which, in turn, is the exact thing that gave us Mega and access. So... All the day's work, I suppose. Can I Chaos Card the first phase? Yes, I can. Wait, no, what? Yeah, okay, okay, I can, I can. Good. Just because the first phase is way more annoying than the second phase. I'd way rather Chaos Card the first phase. 
So it just skips all the bullshit having to fight all the other en en uh, enemies. Now we just fight him. And he is a pushover. If we, if we get the options to do void, I guess we do void. We'll see. We'll see if we get the opportunity. That was a fun run though, regardless. Unfortunately not, but either way, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.